I saw a bunch of these videos and I was like, that that's not important. I really didn't believe that that's not gonna happen to me. By the time I reached 15, 16, all those minor things, like sneaking out, drinking, vandalizing, didn't seem like much. We started selling drugs, and we were fighting at least once or twice a weekend. I was 17, and I had a couple friends in the car with me, and we decided that we were gonna go out and find somewhere nice to smoke. All of a sudden, there it was. I was in handcuffs. They pulled me over and they said to me, would you like to take a field sobriety test? And at the time I was said to them, no, I was like, I want you to bring me to jail. It pretty much have ruined my life. I'm selling weed at 16 years old. Kid came to the door, we got into it, and I ended up pistol whipping him. Many people have misconceptions about how youthful offenders are treated. In many states, the penalties may be reduced for someone who's committed a felony as a youthful offender versus an adult, but they can go to prison and often will go to prison as a result of their offense. Basically, I was like, because I'm a minor, it's not gonna really affect me. That's one of the common misconceptions about someone who's 16 or 17 years of age, uh, that if they've been arrested, they think that this is just a slap on the wrist, they can just go free. 